News 8 at 10 starts now. And right now at 10 o'clock, researchers at Indiana University are finding new ways to beat the heat. A team of scientists placed 30 heat sensors around Bloomington. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us now with how uh, the data from the sensors will help urban planners deal with extreme temperatures, Adam. Yeah, Phil, this is what they look like. And as you know, buildings, roads, and sidewalks can radiate heat, sometimes adding up to 20 degrees to city temperatures. IO researchers are collecting data using these sensors, and they're using that data to advise city planners in Bloomington on how to make their city cooler. Although they are six feet above ground, they're barely noticeable. Heat sensors scattered throughout Bloomington are helping give scientists a better idea of how the climate can vary from one part of town to the other. People are exposed to um, heat in varying uh, intensities all over the town, especially based on you know where they live or where they work. Um, and so making sure we get the spatial coverage in different uh, neighborhoods and different parts of town is uh, increasingly important to understand what people are truly experiencing. The sensors take the air temperature every five minutes. Data is stored in a cloud where researchers at IU's Luddy School of Informatics use the information to help advise city officials where more trees could make a difference. Athletic teams can also use the data so they can avoid practicing in the hottest times of day. Our most extreme heat wave last year, the end of August, we have sensors on IU's campus and we show that there was more than a 12 to 13 degrees difference between, let's say, Dunwoods on Indiana University campus and a parking lot nearby. Professor Dana Habib says her team is working with the city of Bloomington on this project. She's hoping the data could encourage the city to reconsider what future development may look like. We're basically displacing natural vegetation such as trees and grass and replacing it with all the impervious surfaces that you see here such as the roads, the sidewalks, the buildings, the parking lots. It's not just Bloomington. According to the International Institute for Environment and Development, Indianapolis ranks 38th out of the 50 largest U.S. cities that have seen their average temperatures increase over the past 40 years. We're seeing that heat waves are increasing with regard to their frequency, their um, duration, um, their intensity, as well as their seasonality. And we're seeing that heat waves are starting earlier in the season as well as lasting longer. The heat sensors will remain up in Bloomington for the rest of the summer and next summer. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.